one person on. Ten. Hey, open door. Ah, uh, Chelsea. Hi, M Station. <laughs> oh my goodness, hi Rehab. Oh my goodness, hello Benyat and Bora and Franklin. Thank you very much. I thought if there was ever a time to bust back out the unicorn, it was very much when we're in the middle of quarantine and doing circle time. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, hello everyone. It is so awesome to read your names popping up. <laughs> and so, anyways, I figured we could start off with our good morning song. So, buenos dias, buenos dias, como estas, como estas, muy bien, gracias, muy bien, gracias, y usted, y usted, good morning, good morning, how are you, how are you? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. How are you? How are you? Good morning, Open Door. It is so awesome to see you. And hi, Reagan. Hi, Poppy. Oh, it is so happy to read all of your names. I have missed you all so very much. And so since she's already taken a little bit of liberty to show her nose, I will introduce my puppy. This is Indy. Indy Ray. Say hi, Indy. Hello. <laughs> she's, oh, she's actually the sweetest little thing ever. Oh my goodness. She, right now, we just got back recently from a walk. And... Yeah, now we're just kind of hanging out and enjoying, enjoying our morning. So, anyways, let's go ahead and I'm going to read a book. And so this is a story that I've read several times actually with our kids at school. And so I thought it would be a fun one to bring back out. So this is Madeline's Rescue. And so for the kids, this is the Madeline book that has Genevieve, the puppy. And so here we go. Madeline's Rescue by Ludwig Bellemans. Madeline's Rescue. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. And to the tiger at the zoo, Madeline just said, Poo, poo, I am not afraid of you. And so we have our 12 little girls in their two straight lines leaving the house at half past nine. Oh, Anaya, I'm so glad you're excited. <laughs> and nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel until the day she slipped and fell. Uh-oh. Was Madeline using her listening ears? Mm -mm. You gotta keep those two feet on the ground. Poor Madeline would now be dead. Oh, everyone's trying to save her. But for a dog that kept its head. Look at her. Look at her go. And dragged her safe from a watery grave. Ta-da! Oh, what a good puppy. Bringing Madeline back to shore. Now they're heading home. 
from now on, I hope you will listen to me. And here is a cup of chamomile tea. There we go. Good night, little girls. I hope you sleep well. Good night, good night, dear Miss Clavel. Everyone's going to bed. Miss Clavel turned out the light. After she left, there was a fight about where the dog should sleep that night. Oh no, was that a good plan, friends? No. Oh, man. The new pupil was ever so helpful and clever. She loved biscuits, milk, and beef, and so they named it Genevieve. Hi, Louie. It's good to see you. Look at her. She's spelling out C-A-T. What a smart puppy. There they are, giving her bones. She could sing and almost talk and enjoyed the daily walk. What do you guys think that Genevieve sounds like when she sings? You guys want to try it? I think it probably sounds something like, looks very fancy there with her bow. I like it. Indy does not wear bows. If I tried to put a bow on Indy, she would look at me very grumpy like, be like, no thank you. <laughs> Soon the snow began to fly. Inside it was warm and dry, and six months passed quickly by. There we have it. When the first of May came near, there was nervousness each year. Uh oh, everybody's getting ready. <laughs> perfect, 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 Frankie. That is exactly, I think, how she would sound. <laughs> For on that day, there arrived a collection of trust for the annual inspection. And the inspection was most thorough, much to everybody's sorrow. There come the trustees. They're the adults that make sure that everyone is following the rules, minding their manners, making good choices. Uh-oh. Whatever can that be? Tap, tap. Come out and let me see. Oh, dear me, it's a dog. Isn't there a rule that says dogs are not allowed in school? Uh-oh. Miss Clavel, get rid of it, please, said the president of the board of trustees. Yes, but the children love her so. Please, please don't make her go. Uh -oh. I dare say, said Lord Cuckoo Face. I mean, it's a perfect disgrace for young ladies to embrace this creature of uncertain race. Off you go. Go on now, scat. Go away and don't come back. Making Genevieve leave. Dogs are not supposed to be at school. Madeline jumped up on a chair. Lord Cuckoo Face, she cried, beware. Genevieve, noblest dog in France, you shall have a No use crying or talking. Let's get dressed and go out walking. The sooner we're ready, the sooner we'll leave, the sooner we'll find Miss Genevieve. Madeline made a plan. Ready to go. They went.
did, she was fed, and everybody went to bed. Oh, yay, Genevieve is back. Good night, little girls. I hope you sleep well. Good night, good night, dear Miss Clavel. Oh no. Alrighty. Awesome. Okay, I didn't realize that it had cut out my everybody. I'm sorry about that. Let's see. I'll tell you what, what's the last page that you guys were able to see? Because it looks like it was pretty consistent that it cut out for everyone. And we can jump back. You see me now, you're good. <laughs> Thank you, Zoe. You guys want to jump back or should we keep going? It can be up to y'all. What's the last page you guys saw? Uh, Madeline jumping on the chair. Awesome. All right. Here we go. Madeline jumped on a chair. Lord Cuckoo Face, she cried, beware. Miss Genevieve, noblest dog in France, you shall have your vengeance. There's a page with pictures on it. <laughs> That one right there. <laughs> it is no use crying or talking. Let's get dressed and go out walking. The sooner we're ready, the sooner we'll leave, the sooner we'll find Miss Genevieve. There we go. Madeline formed a plan. They're ready to go. They went looking high and low. And every place a dog might go, in every place they called their name. Genevieve, Genevieve. But no one answered to the same. It's a great big dog park. There's so many puppies, but none of them are Genevieve. The gendarme said, We don't believe we've seen a dog like Genevieve. Hi, Miss Danny. Hours after they had started, they came back home broken hearted. They couldn't find her anywhere. Oh, Genevieve, where can you be? Genevieve. Please come back to me. Madeline is so sad. She misses Genevieve. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right. An old street lamp shed its light on Miss Genevieve outside. Yay! Genevieve, she's back. She was petted, she was fed, and everybody went to bed. Good night, little girls. I hope you sleep well. Good night, good night, dear Miss Clavel. Everyone's going for bed. Do those little girls look happy, though? Uh-oh, what do you think's about to happen? 
Miss Clavel turned out the light, and again there was a fight. As each little girl cried, Genevieve is mine tonight! Uh-oh. We gotta take turns and share, huh? For the second time that night, Miss Clavel turned on her light. And afraid of a disaster, she ran fast. And even faster. Whoa. She is pretty fast. If there is one more fight about Genevieve, I am sorry, but she will have to leave. Oh my goodness. The girls are not making very good choices, are they? I will say, how does Genevieve look about all of this? Genevieve is quite sad. That was the end of the riot. Suddenly, all was quiet. For the third time that night, Miss Clavel turned on her light. Oh, man. And to her surprise, she found that suddenly there was enough hound. To go all around. Yay! <laughs> so many puppies. There's one little puppy for one little girl. It makes 12 puppies. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve puppies. And one Genevieve. <laughs> I hope you guys liked that book. That was one of my favorite books. I read that when I was a little girl all the time. It was a lot of fun. Let's do a song now. So I was thinking it would be great fun to do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. <laughs> I figure it'll be good to kind of get up and move around a little bit. So. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Good job, friends. All right. How slow do you think you can go? You ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Let's see. How fast do you think you can go? Oh, man. You guys think you can go faster than I go, even? We'll have to see. Ready? And head, shoulders, knees, toes, knees, toes. Head, shoulders, knees, toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Did you guys beat me? Were you faster than I was? Hmm, you'll have to let me know. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more story. And before we go, I know that Miss Dawn and Frankie and I have got to share our puppies with you guys. 
So if you get the chance, and parents are okay with it, you guys should leave in the comments pictures of your own puppies and kitties and fish. Maybe you guys even have a guinea pig like Suave in the, in the dragonfly room. We'll have to see. And so I'd love to see all the open door pets. I think that could be something way fun. And so our last story is called Everything I Need to Know I Learned from a Disney Little Golden Book. My mom got me this book whenever I moved to Austin. And so I thought it would be a very fun one to share with everyone. So, Everything I Need to Know I Learned from a Disney Little Golden Book by Diana Muldrow. Does your life seem more ho-hum than hi-ho? Perhaps you've been feeling lethargic for what seems like a hundred years. Seems like this quarantine has gone on for a hundred years. <laughs> or you're unsure of your direction in life. Maybe you're not thrilled with what the mirror's been telling you lately. Perhaps you're a bit lonely, or you're thinking that your true love should have found you by now. Don't panic. Alice. Looking glass. All you need is a little magic in your life. The good news is that having a genie or a fairy godmother is optional. That would be pretty nice though, huh? Because magic is all around us. Look at that beautiful sunset, sunrise. What do you guys think? You think it's a sunset or a sunrise? Think back to when you heard stories of fairies and pirates. Peter Pan. Dum, da, dum. And far off places. Ah, Prince Ali. Of wizards and castles. Ah, whoa. You see Merlin, top of the castle. and wishes coming true. Cinderella. Cinderella is my favorite princess. <laughs> when you dreamed of true love and happily ever after. Aw, puppies. <laughs> Got a bit of a theme going. And anything seemed possible. Hold those dreams close. They can still come true. Magic is something we can make ourselves. Start with a friend, a true Baloo friend. Add music and dancing. <laughs> Perhaps a little romancing. A star to wish on. And hope in your heart. Life is not always fair. And mean girls and bullies seem to be everywhere. Don't despair. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. <laughs> Eventually, you'll come up into the sunshine. With hope in your heart, you can swim with the sharks. Ooh. But there would be no magic without your love and its power. Love can bloom in the most desolate places. 
It gives us courage. It overcomes evil. And it endures because love is stronger than hate. So keep your heart open and look for the beauty in others. New friends are waiting in the wings for you, ready to share wonderful times. For there's no one quite like you and what you bring to the picture. We're all born with certain gifts and talents. So use what you've got. Show your moxie. And take your place at the ball. It wouldn't be as exciting without you. It's true. Who's that? <laughs> the world needs your own particular magic. Let it go, my friends. Let that magic go. Claim your rightful place in the world. Your destiny awaits. Life really is a journey and a gift. It's a pretty pink bow. And it's a super califragilistic new day. Jump in. Wee splash. And see what's waiting for you on the other side. The world is full of magical places. Mm. Later in Lightning went to London, England. Be curious. Be an explorer. Mm. Warning. Your journey may take you out of your comfort zone. Do it anyway. Look up and listen. And watch for doors that are opening for you. Are you ready to make your own magic? It's up to you. Soon you'll see your dreams coming true. The end. Well, my friends, I have had a wonderful time getting to share with you today. And so hopefully you guys had a lot of fun too. I can't wait to hear all about the different adventures and journeys you guys have been on over these last several weeks and the ones still to come even. And so hopefully you are all safe and well and happy. I miss all of you and your bright shining faces. And until we get to be in the same room and give you hugs, I'm giving air hugs all around and so I will be back on at three o'clock to do a fun art project with you guys so I will see you then and until then have a wonderful rest of the day bye my friends <laughs>